Okay, today I'm going to show you how to install a floodlight where there's been a switch for a pool and it turns on in the pool. I don't want the switch to, to turn on the light, but I want to tap into the power source so uh, the security floodlight, which is activated by motion sensor and, and at night time, will always uh, get constant power. So there's no light switch, but I want to tap into that power. So first things you need is the light. You need some electrical wire. You need some electrical piping. And you need an outlet box. Here are all the tools used for this project. Let's uh, get started. I'm going to go to the external breaker box where the pool pump, pool lights and pumps and uh, washer is powered. So it says pool, pool light is number four. So I'm going to go find four and flip that switch off. And then I'm going to go turn the light on and see if it turns on. If it doesn't turn on, that means I cut power successfully. Okay, so I'm going to flip the switch on. No, no light, so I've cut the power source off. So now I can uh, start getting into the box. Alright, so just so you understand how this works is you have uh, the negative power, the black, the in and the out connected together. And then you have the blue uh, that's going to be the new black to the light in the pool. So when this light switch is switched on, it automatically switches, adds power to the light. So we, we are not going to mess with, with the blue. We are going to just uh, attach to the ground, the black, and the white. Okay, so I just unscrewed the top cap and now I'm going to screw in this attachment. And this is where the wires and the new uh, electrical pipe are going to go through. So I got the tape measure and I measured 39 inches. I put it inside of here. Right here, 39 inches. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the electrical pipe, but I'm going to put an elbow at the end. Right here. So I want to keep this joint in. So I'm going to measure 39 inches down from here because on the other end there's no joint. And I'd have to purchase a, a, a joiner. So that's what I'm going to do. Now you might, if you have a saw, that'd be great. You can cut it with a box knife if you have to. Okay, so a box cutter knife. Is uh, especially a dull one. It's going to take too long to cut through this uh, gray PVC pipe. So I got my electric saw. It'll save a lot of time. So I've cut the pipe and measured it to where I want it to be. I'm going to screw it along right here. So now that I know it's the right length that I want it, I'm going to uh, pull it apart and I'm going to use some adhesive to uh, glue the pipes together so because with it being outside you don't you do not want any uh, water to get in to those pipes okay so I'm going to use some of this solvent cement that's specially made for this gray PVC pipe when you open it you, you just dab it around the edge of the pipe pretty liberally and it'll make sure it sticks before you glue the final piece onto uh, the plug over there I uh, went ahead and straightened up the wire as much as I could and fed it through there then I'm going to apply the cement around the edge and uh, set it in place permanently so now I have glued all the pipe into place and I'm going to uh, brace everything with some uh, conduit clamps. 
got some screws that you have to you have to drill a, with a quarter inch drill bit and put the holder into okay so now we're drilling into the brick and in order for the screws to stay securely I have to drill with a quarter inch uh, drill bit to fit these little slots in to screw it in so that's what I'm going to do now that I have the PVC pipe and outlet box securely fastened to the brick wall I can start prepping the wires for the final installation all right so now I got the uh, mounts securing everything I have a lot of the slack at the top and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the wires and prepare it uh, for mounting and I'm going to start with mounting the light up first and then I'll pull the rest of the slack through at the bottom and then uh, attach the wires together there okay so I have this wire here I need to expose some of the extra slack so I'm going to start cutting up a little bit okay about five or six inches ought to do it okay now this is a 14 gauge wire so I'm going to strip the end and I have a 14 gauge setting right there and just all around and then pull it out. Go all the way around. Pull it out. Okay, so now I have wire exposed for all three wires. And all I need to do is pull this down here. The top, pull it at the bottom. Okay, so I installed the mounting brace that came with the light on the mount. Now I'm about to start installing the light. Installing the light is going to be really easy. You got a black wire on the light and a white wire. There's a black, white, and ground on the electrical wire. So it's uh, pretty cut and dry. Uh, there's a ground right here. I'm going to screw the ground wire right into there. First thing you're going to do is attach the black wire to the black wire, the white wire to the white wire, and put the ground on the, the screw right here. So, get the nuts. Screw that on. The ground is attached. Put the ring nut on black, black on black, twist it nice and tight, and give it a little tug, make sure everything's clear, and then tuck the wires in. Make sure you got a ga your gasket, if your light comes with a gasket, make sure it's on. screw goes in the middle. Make sure it's facing the correct direction. That screw and now is where you start tightening. Okay, make sure the gasket is laid out flat. Okay, so now it's good and tight. You want to make sure you got the gasket because you don't want any moisture or wetness inside where the electric wire electricity's flowing. So now it is mounted. I pulled out the slack and there's a lot of extra wire, wire cutters.
there. And then, just like before, and fill it back. Cut off the extra. Next part is I'm going to got the green for ground. And I got a there's a uh, screw here. I'm gonna attach it right there. I have it grounded. Now I need to attach the white with the other white, strip the 14 gauge wire, black, Trade it out. Uh, no. See if this one will work. Tighten it good and tight. Give it a tug. And then remember, the blue goes to the the uh, light that's in the pool for when the switch is on. We want constant power in this in installation, so we're just going to go straight to the black. Put those together, push it in, give it a tug, it's in there nice and good. So now all that's left is to tuck it in, screw everything else in. Okay, tighten it all the way, and all that's left is light switch plate. Okay, it's installed. So all you have to do is flip the breaker switch and I'm going to install the light bulbs and test it out. Okay, I flipped the uh, breaker switch and the light is on. Pool light is on as well. Let me turn the switch off. Pool light came off. Those are still on. So everything went just as planned and that's how you do it hey class if you like this video please click like below and subscribe to this channel also like us on facebook and follow us on twitter